Hey guys, it's Dave from Macrobotics here and today I'm going to run you through the process of how I control this industrial six axis robot. It's a KR8 R1420, so it's an 8 kilo capacity robot in a 1420mm reach. I'm not going to go into too many of the specifics of the actual robot itself, um, but really today I'm just going to show you the process of how I control this using our PLC HMI. So here we've got our PLC down here, something that you wouldn't normally see, the operator would uh, purely just see the, the, the panel here, the HMI panel. Normally in an industrial setting, this would all be in an enclosure and the operator would just see this. Uh, so I'll just run you through the specifics of the actual HMI itself. Relatively uh, self-explanatory, over this side we've got our KUKA side. Uh, where the operator would just type in a job number, um, whatever that be, which would correspond to the part that they're looking at processing, and then that would just get sent to the KUKA controller. Just really diagnostics on this side, uh, the operator before running really needs to see through three green lights, so you can see we're not getting uh, feedback from our con controller here, which is also peri-ready. Once we get that, that green light will come on. Um, really just needs to see three green lights. Once, they pre once the operator press, uh, presses program start, the program would be sent to the controller and off it goes. The acknowledge button is just purely comes up real time. You can see acknowledging just then uh, cleared my curtain and my e-stop. I'll just trigger that again. For example, just trigger the e-stop. You can see there. Now, just releasing that doesn't bring that back. So once a safety device has been triggered, the oper operator then has to actually acknowledge. So in an industrial setting, this would be cordoned off here. When an operator walks through, whether it's a, a gate, a light curtain, a radar or a scanner or something like that, the operator then has to acknowledge that no one's within the confines of the cell and they would have to press the acknowledge button. So just uh, simply releasing the e-stop or you know putting the curtain back or anything uh, isn't enough. They therefore have actually have to acknowledge that no one's within the cell and go from there. So I'll just do that. Now over here, you've just got a bit of diagnostics if we're running um, you know, external axis. So we've got linear axis and a, linear axis and a headstock uh, axis here, uh, headstock tail stock. So it's just showing motor current in percentage and then just giving us axis positioning uh, just in real time, just there. Really cool feature up here. You've got your uh, Fronius welding system or your diagnostics. So you've got your voltage, your current, your seam tracking. Just really good that the operator just doesn't have to then be looking at um, the Fronius, uh, the Fronius power source, or even still the Fronius power source might be on a linear carriage or um, inaccessible. So the operator can just simply just look at one panel, which is always handy. Um, but I'll just run a program here actually. So you can see we're getting feedback from our controller now. I've entered job one. This is just purely demonstration and I'll hit start. So this is running at 30%. And now just purely for demonstration, I'll just change that to job two. Press start, this will now run at 100%, so much faster. And being such a small robot, it can uh, it's quite agile, so it can go pretty fast. But um, yeah, this is purely um, the operator panel, so the HMI that I designed that the, um, the operator would just be controlling the robot directly from in an external format. And yeah, thanks for watching.